Hello everyone, it's Faded Oasis, and I unmuted my mic. Today I'm playing Super Mario World, because I don't have a whole lot of time to stream today. Uh, so it's going to be a short stream. I'm going to pick up where I left off here. I, yeah, I'm in World 5, the uh, forest maze. Um, let's try here. Wait a minute, hold on a sec. I thought I already... Yeah, I already made it out to... Oh no, I took the Star Road to the Fortress, that's what happened. I didn't actually make it back in, did I? Now, let's do this real fast. And... I did beat it! Why didn't my save file have... Okay, so this is where I left off. Came out here, but I didn't quite get to Star Road, so let's beat this. Oh right, I remember trying this level multiple times, oops. That's a good job. All right, let's try something else. So I don't remember too much about these later levels in Mario World. Right, let's have some fire. Ah. Uh. slow down. Way too many sprites on screen. I'm pretty sure I need to, if I remember from the world map correctly, I need to find the secret exit here in order to actually progress because the normal exit brings me up instead of down. Okay. 
Hey, Glass, how you doing? Alright, let's not get hit by that fish this time. Nothing over there. Oops. It's not good. Ah. I don't have a lot of time left. See a thing. There we go. Oh, that's not. Mm, that's not where I thought I was going. Well, Blue Switch Palace is good. Screwed that up. Um, I don't remember if I beat it back then. I think I did. I definitely beat it in college. Oh, I forgot to turn on my lights. There we go. Can you and save? Right, that's why my other save file was so far back, because it only saves every so often or something. Um, so I think... No, because I'm fairly sure the other exit for this goes up. Or is it... No, it might be that the top level, the other exit goes to this instead of to the ghost house. That doesn't seem fair. get going because I don't want to get caught up in this thing also. Alright, that one was my fault. I swam up into it. So sleeping fish over there, and one right there. Right, that's a problem. I don't have a way of killing it. So let's just go. Be fine. 
going as fast as I can. Alright. Oops, too high. It does go down, okay. So then the normal exit for this goes to the ghost house? Okay, don't swallow that. I need to put this at the top of the stairs. No. Get off. Nothing doing. Oh, a second one, huh? And it's gone. Okay, cool. That was fast. Nothing up there, okay. Are they supposed to flash or something? Ah. Fish! Not gonna be in any of these? Okay.
Yep, that's what I meant to do. Well. Maybe I didn't try all the pipes, but I don't think it's a pipe. Yeah, it brings me right back up to the ghost house. They give me the way to get this pretty immediately. Try it up there. I wasn't running because I didn't want to spit it out. That's not enough. Okay. Go away, please. Didn't he spawn? Okay, good. Don't spit it out. Nope. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I was pretty sure it had to do with uh... how dare you? Well, everything's ruined. Let's just restart. No, not from here. Ugh. Does that reset it? No, it doesn't. Uh, that also doesn't reset it. Let's beat the level again, I guess. Let's 
Let's go do something else. Um, I was trying to jump under it, so I was trying to jump at the last second, but uh, it didn't work. I think this counts as finishing a level, so it's probably not going to reset my uh, progress thing. Just going to get like 15 lives here. I don't have the Star Roads connected either, so I gotta walk all the way around. Nope. Okay, back into the forest. Goodbye, Yoshi. Let's go get Yoshi again. Don't know how I phased through that, but okay. Alright. Give me that. Don't get that. That's a way to get this uh, past here. Don't. Oh, he swallowed it. Hey Destiny, how you doing today? <sighs> okay, so what do I do here? How do I... Let's try the pipes, I guess. needs to leave me alone. Try to figure this out. Where could this be? Okay, so is it up here? Doing okay. Um, 
I've got some things to do today, so I can't stream the full day today, but it's probably going to be two or three hours. Is it one of these pipes? Oh, hi. Then, Okay, good. Got there. Figured it out. Alright, Roy's castle time. Come here, Roy. Uh... Oh, the snake level. Okay. Let's screw with the camera. Screw with the camera? There we go. Screwing with the camera adjusts the timing of all of these things and should make it. Uh, nope. I thought it would make it easier because. timing would be off, so it wouldn't be what they intended. Well, that was close. Okay. Did I mean to hit that? I did not mean to hit that. Okay, cool. Plus I finished doing all World Crowns levels as all characters. Oh, cool. Good job. not screw with the camera. Okay. I'm gonna screw with it here because I want those things to fall early. Oh, they've already fallen. There they are, okay. I forgot to jump. I press jump.
Mm. Okay. So sit, standing on that one tiny little block, trying to avoid fire and catch a feather. too early. I'm too eager to run through these levels. I'm getting too impatient already. I'd like some power-ups, but going all the way back to top secret area is kind of a pain. Oh, I haven't I haven't played any Terraria. This isn't really it's never I never really um was too interested in Terraria, like it seems like Minecraft, so I might enjoy it, but I already have Minecraft. to do the thing. Okay. Find it the start, it's a bit slow. It has a lot. Sorry, I can't. Okay. Oh no. That's not what I wanted at all. It's fine, but the start, it's a bit slow. It has a lot more to do, sadly. Once hard mode begins, it becomes a grind trying to get better items. Oh, okay. That doesn't seem great. Anything over here? No. Oh, cool. Go up here, then drop down, 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 just the camera.
Oops. Sorry, I had to deal with a thing. All right. Why? Okay. So I, I suppose I should mention it. Um, next weekend, the second through the fourth, I will be away. So there will be no streams from me. There will still be streams. Other people will be streaming. You don't have to worry about that. But I will not be streaming. Um, and then, yeah, so tomorrow's stream will be Invisible Ink. Wednesday's stream will be Invisible Ink. And then on Wednesday next week, I'll be starting something new. Let's try not to run off there. Um, I'm probably going to keep playing Invisible Ink once a week or so. Because that game's real good. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Go away, please. I didn't adjust the camera, because I was... Don't do that! <laughs> Alright. Yes! Alright, so this is Roy. What's up with Roy? He's He's got shades on, so he's cool. Right? Roy's easy. Uh, the walls were closing in. I assume he was going to crawl up onto the top and then drop down onto me. And in a confined space, that could be super dangerous, but... What if you just deal with Roy first? Uh-oh. Mario got blowed up. Hey, Zerp. 
No, it's not just the... It, I would hope it's not the forest maze over and over, because I just beat it. Uh, let's play some Chocolate Island. So I got a ghost? Oh no, I can't get a ghost house. I've got a level here. Oh right, it's Dinosaur Land. I mean, other than the Yoshi. I'll use that. Bonk. Don't you- don't- uh... I want you. Let me hit you. I spent a little while stuck on one of them. Um, on my last stream, I got or the last Mario World stream. I got about halfway through. And then... <laughs> no, I can do better. Not like that. Um, luckily I know which areas lead to which... Um... How dare you? lead which directions, so I knew that, you know, the water level either leads this way or this way. But I didn't remember which exit was which, or where in the level those exits were. So it was a little bit of hunting around, going, uh, is it this pipe? Do I jump up here? What's going on? Alright, see you later, Destiny. Thanks for, uh, stopping by. Exits lead to Mario Hell. No, that's the, the bonus world after the star levels. Those are Mario Hell. Those are super tough. Secrets? That's... There's nothing about this I like so far. That's not... No, that pipe leads to Mario Hell. That's what that was. Okay. Oh, cool. Bonus! Choco... Choco... Alright, stream title updated. I screwed up. One. I did it. Now it's a Jost house. Weird moving holes in the floor. Oh, how dare you. What? Uh... Now I'm down here. Alright. Yep, 100%. I did exactly what I intended to the entire time. So I haven't seen you around, Zerp. How's it going? How have you been? 
Why did I do that? Been busy? That's fair. Alright, uh, I thought I had a quick jump in there real fast. It's close. Work's been getting during the week. Venture to buy some magic cards. Cool. Did you get anything good? Or did you buy singles? So, like, no random... Many good things. So you bought singles. Or you got super lucky. How dare this ghost in the cloud with this stupid fire... Uh... Yeah, I played... Um, on my break at the end of... May, um, I stopped by an uh, old college friend and played a bunch of, um, let's see, we played a draft of, it was Chaos Draft, what was it? I chose the newest set, Strixhaven, it was newest at the time, the, the Master set hadn't come out yet, um, plus... The new Zendikar and something. JP was helping an acquaintance to sell an old collection. Made a bulk deal for 75% of it. Ah, uh, okay. So many good things. How old a collection? Just curious. Like Onslaught, Urza's, Beta. I did not offer on the pristine Beta Black Lotus. Um. Do they still have it and are they still willing to. No, I don't need a Beta Black Lotus. <sighs> I mean, that would be my fifth piece of beta power. Oh, I don't... I didn't save that I beat this. Because I didn't see There's no save unless it's after a fortress or ghost house. Well, let's play this again, but this time without a Yoshi. Most of the limited power was missing Time Twister. Time Twister, I always thought of... Like, it's obviously not weak, but I always thought it as the weakest of the Power 9. Oops. Although a case could be said for Mox Pearl. Oh, you fall fat. You fall fast. Okay. Patui. It's been hard to judge how far you jump when you're running. I'm not used to Mario World. Yeah, that's fair. How dare you? I mean, you could just get a Library of Alexandria and call it the, the ninth Power Nine. 
because that's much better than Time Twister is. Was the library in the purchase? Great, you got the Power Nine. Three of them. Wow. All right, let's jump back and get some lives, get some power-ups. You don't open old packs, you save them and then sell them at a later date for more money. I forget if Alpha was one of the sets where you could see through the wrappers to actually see what cards were in it. If you had like a bright enough flashlight or whatever. I know a lot of the early sets you could do that. Oh, starter packs, not uh, not booster packs, right? It's three packs plus like ten of each or five of each land or something, some number of each land. No, wait, that's what tournament packs were. Starter packs were just three packs because lands were in the common slot. Because it was alpha, and you needed to get lands out there. Well, they also didn't want you to be able to easily figure out what cards were rare. They wanted you to... You know, it wasn't meant to be a game where you collect all of the cards. It was just like you have some number of cards in your playgroup, and yet yeah, there are a few really strong ones. And, but they're all getting passed around because you're all playing for anti, because that's what the game was. Like, if you want to use this, um, this mox you open, go for it. But if that turns up as your anti card and you lose that game, too bad, it's not yours anymore. I mean, it, ma it makes sense in a world where Pogs is a popular game, because that's also literally gambling. Like, it's... You know, we each put in, you know, 20 pogs, and then I walk away with 35 of them, and you only have five. And I got all your good ones. Beat this level. I think I can say with some certainty that Richard Garfield did not expect the game to still exist 20 years after he made it. 
or to still be popular 20 years after you made it. Like, that's... For a game that you're creating back in the 90s, that's insane. Made a volcanic island, huh? That's cool. Uh, a few other beta power. Can you... elaborate? Because I have three moxes, and I might be looking to make it five. was so good that it needed to be graded. That's out of my ballpark. <laughs> Go away. Okay. Oh, right. The ghost blocks. This is weird. So I have to lure you all back. In the door, please. The owner bought the stuff on Richard Garfield's suggestion. Hey, I made a new game. You should buy all of it. What? That's a weird suggestion. I mean, it worked out, but... Give. Went to a wedding where Richard was the best man, and people talk about the new game you made. Oh, okay. If other people were talking about it, and Richard just had because we're guessing it was a nerd wedding. I if Richard was the best man, it probably was. Thank you. 
They can jump up here. Ugh. Sealed box of collector's edition. Other side of collector's. Which one was collector's? Is that the gold bordered one? The uh, no, that was the world championship deck. Something. Oh, it was gold uh, gold border backs, right? Or something like that. Square corners. Really? Oops. Yeah, it's because it's... Is it Alpha Beta Revised? Is it just... Alpha again? Or is it, like, a first... Uh, you know, a few of the... First expansions as well. Nothing up here? Okay. I figured since they're giving me a like a staircase, there might be a staircase. Oh, okay, it's Oh, it was a box set of one of each beta card. Okay. Okay. I mean they're legal in um Canadian Highlander, so... <sighs> no! I saw the feet up top. Yeah, a lot of playgroups don't care, and they're like, you know, whatever, if you're, if they're in sleeves and you can't tell the difference, like double sleeved so you can't feel the corners or whatever, then what does it matter? They're still expensive anyway, just not as expensive. Oh, right, I should have, like, read that. Oh, the slowdown. Got there. We done? That's a lot of mushrooms. Stock up on them here, I guess. Look at all these mushrooms. What did I do to deserve all these mushrooms? 
Oh, jeez. Okay. I don't know. Like... A few years ago, I'd probably be interested. Um... Probably not now. Like, I'm interested enough to consider it, but I'm probably not gonna... Okay. Uh, Pearl Sapphire Jet. I'm missing Ruby and, um, Emerald. Like, it's, it's the ones that went in the deck. Yeah. Um... And I also have... what's my other power? Uh, Ancestral. Uh, I hope down is safe. Okay, good. Yeah, I had a judge friend who... wanted to sell out of all their power. Okay. Um, yeah, probably. I don't know. I haven't kept up with how much they're worth. Um, they aren't mint condition in any way. But, you know, they're pretty good. I didn't get enough coins. What? I got enough coins? Oh, right, because there was the... So that's the normal way. This is the secret way. How dare you! There we go. Yeah, I bought them... probably... five or six years ago. Things from the ceiling gonna come down and stomp me? No? Oh. Spikes. Okay. Good, I need... Does this get rid of dry bones completely? It does. Okay. Reserveless bubble. I do have some reserveless cards. Uh, ooh, how much is a Lurin worth? Because I still have my playset that's sitting in a no longer legal deck. Oh, jeez, Thwimps. I forgot about Thwimps. Oh. Did you see me get caught by that? Because I saw me get caught by that. Thwimp! Oh, 
Oh good, I caught the swim. <laughs> you were looking up a learn? Okay, so Learn was 20 to 30 when I bought it from Colin. Right, underneath, not on top. Ah! Yeah, they were 20 to 25 when I bought them for the deck. And then... Yeah, 80, huh? Well, I'm not, I'm not selling them. I might want to build a learn again. Uh, I don't know, with reserveless cards. I guess people are trying to get rid of them because uh, they bought them to invest and not to uh, actually use them. So now they're trying to get rid of them. But, I don't know. Buying old cards just because you want to get more money out of them doesn't seem good to me. Like... Buy cards because you want to collect them or because you want to play with them, but if you're doing it just for the monetary aspect, like... I don't know, just go get some Bitcoin or something. Ah. From people buying too many? It could have been a lot of people trying, uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, getting rid of their collections so they could, you know, afford rent and whatnot. So, all of those copies went to investors who had the money, and now the investors are trying to get rid of them. Alright. There we go. Ugh. The... I'm not going to complain about Mario's running. Mario's running has been the same for 20 years. I'm the one not used to it. Yeah. People were spending much less stimulus checks plus FOMO feelings from staying inside all the time. Alright. Come on, Resnor. Oh, that's gonna bite me in the butt. I need to get that one, huh? like that. I wanted to jump and stay on the platform, wait for it to go around.
people are looking to spend money on not magic? How absurd. I guess the people who are still into magic, like... Popularity with the older formats is decreasing. What is with these swims? Why did how did I screw this up? They were easy before. Um So like commander staples you're gonna need a few of for your decks. But other than that, uh you're half looking to buy a car. Why would you buy a car when you could instead buy two magic cards for the price of a car? Or one Pokemon card, probably. Oh, that fire. Poorly timed. No, 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 no. Uh, nope. Wow, I fell right through that platform, huh? Can't stand on it when there's a Resnor on it? And friend who sold his one-year-old truck back to the dealer for more money? Huh. Pokemon might still be crashing, but you still can't buy cards in a store anywhere. Because they're all gone. It's really frustrating as someone who wanted to get back into Pokemon. That was 100% intentional, what I did there. Can make that jump, okay. Let's wait for this to go around again. Cool. I did it! I have defeated the Resnor. Isn't there also a steel shortage? I mean, isn't there an everything store uh, shortage? This level. Okay. Diagonals all over the place. Turns out when people aren't buying things, other people don't produce things. Companies don't produce things. And then they fire the people who typically do produce the things because they don't need the things anymore. And then when the world tries to go back to normal, all of these companies don't have enough employees anymore. Maybe people didn't think this through very well. I mean, I'm not an upper level manager, so I don't actually know. I've been told that I have no idea how any of this works. But, you know, maybe pay people for their work. It's three one-ups down there.
Alright, so there's a P-switch somewhere. And the bottom one has a pipe. Oh, hi! Big Mole. Times two. It's a pipe on a cloud. Or a bone. Oops, that's not the jump. Okay. Can't get a good running start and jump on this one block. There we go. That's not the piece which I was hoping for, but okay. Alright, what's in the pipe? Nothing. What? What? Complete sets of homelands and fallen empires? My condolences. Could grind this level for one ups and mushrooms. All right, let's just go. I don't know. Peace, which is probably in like one of these many blocks, and I don't want to figure it. Oh, jeez, do that. Okay. Goodbye. Miss you. Come here. I mean, if you already have the complete set of homelands, why don't you just finish up the Ice Age block? Surely the Ice Age and Alliances cards aren't going to be worth too much, right? Excuse me? What? I didn't even jump, I just walked forward. be a full Ice Age set. I mean, congrats if there is. Ice Age is a cool set. I did not mean that joke. I did not mean to make a pun. I firmly apologize. It is a cool set, though. Bonk. Nope. Goodbye, Yoshi. Just wanted to go in here. Yay, bonus room. Yeah! Dang. And I'm at the halfway point. Fantastic. Oh! Why would you do that? That'd be cool if you completed the whole Ice Age block, minus the cold snap stuff. Whatever. Cold snap is not actually a set in the block. And I will fight anyone who says so.
Glass, you don't even know what I'm talking about, other than magic. All time is part of icy. It might as well be, right? And so is that one master's set that had snow. Oof. What was it? Is it Modern Masters 1? Or 2? Wait. Which was the masters that added cards? Yeah, Mo Modern Horizons, that's what it was. Yeah, you know what? Ice Age Block 2 is Cold Snap, Modern Horizons, and Kaldheim. That's Cold Snap Block. I wonder how those sets would play together. I bet not well. I mean, you'd have the snow mechanic, but no other shared mechanics. Ripple wasn't even good. Actually, I'm saying this to you. Yeah, okay. I knew you would immediately find the thing that you do in your decks because you're you. Ripple was not good, but somehow Zerp had a good Ripple deck. I don't even understand why that's, like, what format is that played in that that would be expensive? Because it's not Commander. Oh, rats. Ugh, right. Or that new spell that deals a bunch of damage to opponents but if you have if you exile it and four copies of it from your graveyard you get to search for a dragon or something that's in Kaldheim or uh not um Strixhaven or something right That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Why, so you can run one copy in your rat stack? And 
and then set it aside for three years because no one wants to play against your rats deck in Commander. Cold Snap was a small set, and uh, not wildly produced either. It was one of those fourth set things when they were doing small, uh, like, joke for or, or yeah, joke fourth sets. Back when they didn't have a core set every year. This timing sucks. F it. This was a mistake. Oh, there's no safe place here. Likely a good chance to get reprinted. Um, where? Th I, I think it's a bad fit for a commander product. Um, unless they make a rats deck where it's just a commander deck you buy that has sixty rats in it. So, they've been, yeah, the, the extra spells in the packs and whatnot. But it would still need to fit within the set, because throwing in a master's set... I don't think it works as a chase card in a standard set, because you still need to have a standard set where that's a viable card, because otherwise it'll just get passed around the table and draft. Unless they print it solely to decrease its price, and they're not in the habit of doing that, they ho have a whole list of cards that they're not going to do that for. Well, no, because the... what's it called? In Strixhaven, they had those bonus spells that were in, you know, one every pack. Those are basically cards that are in the set. They might not be quote-unquote in the set when you look in Oracle or something, but... Strixhaven they did differently? Oh, well that's the one that I know because I haven't actually paid attention to magic in the last year. Yeah, if they've brought back masterpieces as they were in... Um... Not Kaldheim. The... The robot set. Kaladesh. It lands as box toppers like fetches and stuff. Yeah, but that fits the flavor of Zendikar. Zendikar is the land set. So, they need a set where a card that gives your spells Ripple 4 fits. Otherwise, it's just like, yeah, we threw this in because it was expensive. You're probably not going to play it, because... Let's be honest, you're not. Unless you are specifically building a rat's deck in Commander or something. Oh, that was a mistake. Is 
strength. Nothing. No hidden boxes or anything. Like, they could absolutely put it in any set as one of the chase cards. But I don't think they need to. I think they're going to stick to cards that make somewhat... Like, some amount of sense. Because they have enough of those that are also worth money. Okay, this, this platform's safe. Let's wait. Let's go up. Please tell me this goes up. Okay, good. I got super scared that that platform just went down. Fine. Good, fine, perfect. Return to Kaladesh. Uh, Thrumming Stone, yeah, I guess that could be one of the inventions. But, no, they they ruined Kaladesh. You can't have the invention fair again because the, the revolt happened, right? Uh, every time they go to a new set, they ruin it. Or a new setting. Ah, so close! Or they could do it in some weird secret lair. That makes sense. Uh, or they could make a commander deck that has multiple. You could have... We've been to Ravnica three times now. Yeah, but Ravnica hasn't been completely destroyed after any of them except the War of the Spark. We've been going back to Dominaria after them. And then, yeah, that's, that's the one... I don't know, anytime we spend multiple sets on one plane, it's because Watsy's like, okay, cool, let's introduce this cool place and ruin it. Because that's the the storyline we have. The bad people show up and everything goes to hell. Because then our planeswalkers can successfully save the day and then get out of here because now we're done with this setting and everyone's bored. Going back to Innistrad for the third time. Yeah. Ah, oh, friggin' iframes wouldn't let me jump. Why are we going back to Innistrad for the third time? Also, I thought in the next set we were going to Dungeons and Dragons World. Having a vampire set and a werewolf set separately. Why? It's so they can print commanders, isn't it? Oh, let me gripe about um, the mechanic in the D&D &D set that I saw. Dungeons. So, let me get this straight. My command zone will have... I, I posted on, on this about the uh, Discord that we have. It's like I've already done with the D&D &D set. I haven't seen anything except the dungeons. Ah! Dungeons are yet another thing that ends up in, that starts in your command zone. You know, next to your contraption deck and your uh, schemes deck.
Yeah, it all depends on what cards they print that actually... Like, I paused the video and read the dungeons, and they're like, there, there are no huge effects. This one ends with draw a card. Um, it all depends on the other cards that let you adventure, whatever they call. Because um, they could totally just make one card. that interfaces with them in a way that's super broken and, you know, shows up in Vintage for whatever reason. Because it, cause it works well with this card from five years ago and this other card from 25 years ago. One more. One more. Yes! You done? Okay, good. You're adventuring it's one of those three. Yeah. Well, it opens the door for them to print more, right? Because that's something that they're going to do. They're totally not just going to forget about this mechanic after one set. Print more as a mechanically unique secret layer. Yeah, probably. And then never print those again, so they'll be worth super a lot of money. Alright, I made it to World 7. No, wait, I haven't yet. There's a sunken ship first. Forgot about the sunken ship. I don't even know. Wow. How do you shoot bullets so fast underwater? That doesn't make any sense. Crates are solid. Oh, bullets are solid. Get back here. No. Okay. Oh, this is supposed to be like an airship from Mario 3. Except it's underwater, because Bowser crashed it. Hydrophobic paint. <laughs> Would that make them go f as fast? I I don't know that that works. I loved it. I love it as a solution, but I don't know that it works. Potential. What? Oh. Oh, well, good. I just saved at uh, Wendy's Castle. Something about hydrophobic coated torpedoes. <laughs> okay. Well, look into that and get back to me. Uh, I'm actually going to call it a stream here. I know it's a super short stream for Saturday, but I got other things to do. Friends want to hang out and stuff. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Thanks to Zerb for showing up and talking about magic and having me complain about it. I should save this. Yeah. Uh, hi, yeah, I, I'm just gonna thank you. There we go. That's what I was waiting for Glass to do. Thanks, Glass, for making the bot do its job. You can catch all my streams live, twitch.tv slash fadedoasis. I stream uh, four days a week, but I'm taking a break next week, or next weekend. Um, all my VODs are going to be up on YouTube the day after the stream. Um, I'm pretty consistently uploading them so that they're, they go live the next morning. Um, and yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with more Invisible Ink. Catch you later.